I'm Robin Yaley, member of the Jazz Jumpstart team. In this video, I'm going to show you the Enterprise Build, Promote, and Deploy scenario in the CLM 2012 Money That Matters sample. The scenario has been slightly modified for the purposes of this video demonstration. Here we will see three members of the Business Recovery Matters team perform tasks in support of a new requirement validate loan term and amount. Our mainframe developer, Dave, will implement the change, confirm the implementation with a personal build, and deliver the change to the team stream where it will be detected and built by a scheduled dependency build. Marco, the development lead, will promote Dave's change from development to test. The release engineer, Rebecca, will package and deploy Dave's changes to a test environment. As we join the scenario, Dave has reviewed the new requirement and is ready to begin his work. He indicates that his work is in progress by selecting Start Working and Save. Next, since he has not already been working in the mortgage development stream, he needs to load his repository workspace. This loads the code he is editing from the Jazz repository to his local Eclipse workspace. Next, Dave makes the necessary edits to his COBOL program. Dave can now see his unresolved change in the pending changes view. He double-clicks his file to open the Compare Editor and review his work. Satisfied with his changes, Dave checks them into his repository workspace. He associates his new change set with his current task by dragging and dropping the task on the change set. Before Dave can share his changes with his team by delivering to the development stream, he needs to run a personal build to ensure his changes will compile cleanly. Dave requests a personal build. He specifies a new high-level qualifier and load directory to build his changes in his sandbox. When the build completes, Dave verifies that there were no compilation errors and his changes have been built. At this point, Dave may also choose to deploy his built modules to a test environment to ensure his changes are good before delivering to the development stream. Satisfied with his changes, Dave delivers to the development stream. He can now mark his task complete. The team has a dependency build configured to run on a schedule against the development stream. The next time this build runs, Dave's changes are processed. The build report shows that Dave's changes have successfully built. At this point, Dave's changes are ready to be promoted up for formal testing. Marco, our development lead, performs a work item promotion from development to test. He could use a special work item state to indicate work items ready for promotion and run a query on that state here, but for our scenario he will simply select Dave's task for promotion. He keeps the default option Promote Source and Outputs. This means that when the promotion occurs, Dave's change sets will be delivered to the test stream and the output that was built from his change will be copied from the development level data sets to the test level data sets. A summary dialog indicates that the source has been delivered and a promotion build has been requested to copy the outputs on the build machine. A summary work item is generated as a record of the promotion with links to the work items that were promoted, the promotion build results, and the build maps that have been created at the test level. 
Now that we have reflected in the SCM that Dave's change is ready for formal test, our release engineer, Rebecca, will package the promoted outputs and deploy them to a formal test environment. Rebecca selects to perform a work item packaging and selects Dave's work item. She confirms the output resulting from Dave's change is included in the package. She has the option to override the mappings that were specified in the package definition. These mappings indicate where the packaged outputs will be deployed when they are loaded to the test environment. The package completes successfully and the package listing can be viewed in the package result. A summary work item, similar to the promotion summary work item, is generated. The final step in this demonstration is for Rebecca to deploy the package to a test environment for formal testing. Rebecca takes the default of Load and Deploy, which will copy the package to her test machine and then deploy the outputs to the dataset specified in her package mapping. She verifies that the package she just created is selected. The deployment completes successfully and the deployed outputs can be viewed in the deployment result. A summary work item, similar to the promotion and packaging summary work item, is generated. A quick sanity check confirms the output is deployed. At this point, a tester would execute the test case associated with Dave's story. When he is satisfied and marks the execution a success, Rebecca would then promote the change from test to QA. The package would be deployed to QA where it would again be verified. The final steps in the life cycle of this change would be promotion from QA to production and deployment into the production environment. Thank you for your time and attention today. We invite you to join our collaborative community and try the enterprise build, promote, and deploy scenario yourself at jazz.net.